Good morning, Year 2. Welcome to your English lesson on Friday, the 26th of February. End of the week. One more to go. Yay! And then you're all back again. I cannot wait. So, today's lesson is going to be a bit of a long video and you're going to need to stop and start and practice. So, I'm going to do a little bit at a time of our story. So year two, you will remember when I came and worked with you in your class before and we worked on the speech for the Chris Hadfield presentation and we learnt it off by heart. So we're going to do the same thing this time with Jack and the Beanstalk story. And the reason that we're doing that is to make it easier for you when it comes to writing because if you practice and practice and practice saying something and learning it in your head, then you don't have to think as much about what you're going to say when you're writing. So, we're going to use actions um, like we did before, but as you remember, we need to learn them a little bit at a time. So, I'm going to do bits at a time and then I want you to practice them at home. And by the time you learn this story, you should be able to tell this story word for word to anybody in your house and anybody when you go for a walk until everybody is fed up of hearing you. I can't wait to hear all your performances of this because later on in your pack I have asked you to send me videos so let's see how we get on right are we ready so at the start of our story we're going to have our hands like this because they're going to be a book because our story starts like this once upon a time there was a boy called Jack who lived with his mother practice that part again once upon a time, there was a boy called Jack who lived with his mother. They didn't have any money. So Jack's mother said, we have to sell the cow. Practice that bit again. They didn't have any money. So Jack's mother said, we have to sell the cow. Jack took the cow to market. Jack took the cow to market. Okay, so we've done a bit of a chunk there, so we'll go back to the beginning and we'll see if we can remember all of those bits up to there. Right, are you ready? Get your books ready again. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Jack who lived with his mother. They didn't have any money, so... Jack's mother said, we have to sell the cow. Jack took the cow to market. Did you do it? Brilliant. Okay, let's carry on. Right, so now we're on the way to market. Are you ready? Which way shall I do it? Show you. Do it like that. On the way, a stranger stopped Jack. So you have to be a bit strange. On the way, a stranger stopped Jack. He gave him five magic beans in exchange for the cow. Okay, let's go back a little bit. On the way, a stranger stopped Jack. He gave him five magic beans in exchange for the cow. Jack's mother was furious. She threw the beans out of the window. Okay, so you need to do your best furious face. Are you ready? Jack's mother was furious. She threw the beans out of the window. Okay, stop it there. I want you to go back to the beginning and all the way up to there. Let's do it together. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Jack who lived with his mother. They didn't have any money, so Jack's mother said, we have to sell the cow. Jack took the cow to market. On the way, a stranger stopped Jack. He gave him five magic beans in exchange for the cow. Jack's mother was furious. 
She threw the beans out of the window. Brilliant. I bet you did some brilliant furious faces then. Let's carry on. So the next part goes like this. Overnight, a giant beanstalk grew and grew and grew up into the clouds. Ready? Do that again. Overnight, a giant beanstalk grew and grew and grew up into the clouds. Jack climbed and climbed and climbed until he reached the top where he saw an enormous castle. Okay, let's go back a little bit again. Overnight, a giant beanstalk grew and grew and grew up into the clouds. Jack climbed and climbed and climbed until he reached the top where he saw an enormous castle. Brilliant. Okay, next section. Inside, he could hear a banging and a stamping and a crashing and a huge voice shouting, Fee, fi, fo, fum, watch out everyone, here I come. Jack hid. Okay. Now, this is where you need to do your best angry giant voices. Now, I know you've all got loud voices, so apologise to your mums and dads because you're going to need to shout. Let's go back a little bit. I'm going to do the inside part, okay? Inside, he could hear a banging and a stomping and a crashing and a huge voice shouting, Fee, fi, fo, fum! Watch out, everyone! Here I come! Jack hid. Brilliant. Okay, so I want you to pause the video now and I want you to try and see if you can do the beginning right up to there. And when you've had a go at that, I will show you the next bit. Okay, did you pause and did you have a go at that bit up to there? Right, let's carry on. So, the giant's just come and Jack's just hid. The next part is, the giant ate loads of food and fell asleep. Jack took the giant's gold coins back down the beanstalk. Okay. The giant ate loads of food and fell asleep. Jack took the giant's gold coins back down the beanstalk. Well done. The next day, Jack climbed and climbed and climbed until he reached the top and was back at the castle. So if you notice, we've already done those actions before. That was the same. The only bit that was different was the next day. Okay. The next day, Jack climbed and climbed and climbed until he reached the top and was back at the castle. Okay, this bit's really familiar again. Inside, he heard a banging and a stamping and a crashing and heard a huge voice shouting... Fee, fi, fo, fum, watch out everyone, here I come. You knew that bit already, didn't you? And you know the next bit. Jack hid. And the next bit you will know as well. You can pause at this point, you can go back and practice again. I'm going to carry on. The giant ate loads of food and fell asleep. Jack took the giant's hen who laid golden eggs back down the beanstalk. The next day Jack climbed and climbed and climbed until he reached the top and saw the huge castle. 
this bit again really familiar so you can stop you can go back and practice I'm going to do the next section which you will recognize inside he could hear a banging and a stamping and a crashing and a huge voice shouting Fee, fi, fo, fum, watch out everyone, here I come. Jack hid. The giant ate loads of food and fell asleep. Jack took the giant's golden heart. Now, I don't know if you've seen a harp in real life, but it's a big instrument that has strings, so I'm playing the strings. So Jack took the giant's golden harp. Now, this is where it changes. Unfortunately, the harp shouted, Help! And the giant woke up. Okay, so let's do that bit again because that bit was different. Unfortunately, the harp shouted, help! And the giant woke up. Next part. Quick as a flash, Jack climbed down and down and down the beanstalk. The giant chased after him. Mother, get me the axe, called Jack. Let's do that bit again. Quick as a flash, Jack climbed down and down and down the beanstalk. The giant chased after him. Mother, get me the axe, called Jack. Okay, so now you've got your axe. They chopped and chopped and chopped until the beanstalk and the giant fell to the ground with a thud. Okay, they chopped and chopped and chopped until the beanstalk and the giant fell down to the ground with a thud. Jack and his mother lived happily ever after and they never planted beans again. The end. Okay, so you've got a lot of pausing and restarting to do with that video because what you need to do is and I apologise to your parents because they'll be sick of hearing the sound of my voice by the end of this, I'm sure. So I apologise, mums and dads. But what you need to do is keep re-watching, keep watching the actions, keep practising the actions until you know them. So by the time we are doing our writing, you will need to know that off by heart. So I would like you to practise that's all you need to do. You don't need to do any writing or anything today. This is all just about learning those actions and learning those words because you need to be able to say them and perform the actions. That's your job today. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this activity. I hope you enjoy learning it. It's a really, really, really good way to just enjoy the story. So do some funny voices, do some silly faces and have a lovely time today. You can get your brothers and sisters to join in as well because everybody knows this story. And I will come back to you on Monday and we will carry on. We'll be doing our story map next week so it will be easy if we know this to do our story map really quickly. Okay, thanks everybody. I will see you all after the weekend. Have a brilliant Friday, have a lovely weekend and I'll be back with you again on Monday. See you soon.